Well, welcome back to Tuts Plus. My name's Simon Plant, and today I'm going to show you a ch quick tutorial on how we can repair damaged images. So, some recent very sad events in my life has meant that I've um, inherited um, a, a bunch of um, old photographs. And uh, some of these pictures, uh, most of them are black and white. Some of these pictures go back to about 1917. There's some more, uh, more recent, uh, and they're from World War II. Uh, show my father when he was in the navy, and he was stationed in Sydney, Australia, for a while, and all sorts of wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, of documents too. And it got me thinking. You know, I've been copying these pictures and obviously restoring them as well because some of them are a little bit damaged. And I've got got me thinking about different things that we can do to kind of salvage th these pictures. So in this tutorial today, I'm actually going to use this colour picture, um, but you'll see that uh, the image here has got like a fog in. Now this is quite, um, I was going to say quite common, but when we used to shoot film, sometimes when you loaded the film in the camera, um, it's the first few frames could get a bit of light damage, and this is what I think this is here. This is this sort of red flare. So I'm going to show you a very simple technique. Um, it's quite an old technique, but it's still very much um, usable today. I'm going to show you how we can repair this picture. It won't be perfect, but it's going to sort of repair it to a point that is much more acceptable. Now, I picked this picture out because obviously it's got light damage on it, and uh, it's a picture of my mom with my son, so it's about 10 years old, and you see there's quite a few little marks on it, and this, what I'm going to call light damage, I'm not sure if it definitely is light damage, but that's what we're going to call it, and I'm going to show you the technique to improve the picture and remove some of this red cast, so this technique could probably be used for other images as well with varying levels of damage. To do that, we need to go and inspect the channels, and we, what we need to do is find out which channel has got the damage in it, and we need to replace the, the damaged information in that channel. Now, first of all, I'm going to click on the red channel, which, to, to no surprise, is where the damage is. And you can see this very light fogging over this side of the picture. We, now we need to find, um, find a channel without damage um, with a good tonality that we can use as a donor area so let's click on the green and that's got a little bit of marks there but nothing too bad and then the blue channel well the blue channel is quite dark so what we're going to do is use the information from the green channel to replace the damaged area here now to do that we're going to go and use the uh, a, a, a tool that's not well, I certainly don't use it very often, which is the quick mass tool, which is as access down here. You can also access it by pressing the Q on your keyboard, and that takes you into quick mask uh, mode. Make sure that the red channel, as I said, is highlighted. We're then going to go to the uh, gradient tool and make sure that we've got um, a radial grade, a li sorry, a linear gradient, linear gradient selected. And what we want to do is we're going to draw a uh, in quick mask mode a gradient across the image and that's going to protect the undamaged areas so you can also hold down the shift key to restrain the uh, the uh, selection and now we're just going to drag the gradient across the image to a point around there where the undamaged uh, information that is we can then click on the quick mask tool again down here and that's going to bring us up a nice selection going back to the channels okay we want to highlight the green channel now and press command or control c to copy then we want to go to the red channel okay and this is very important bit now you want to then go to edit and paste special and go to paste into okay and that's very important because we want to paste just the contents into our selection that we've copied from the green channel so you do that and there you have the the green channels information the undamaged information now in the red channel okay so we've now successfully repaired that channel but our work's not quite over yet so we can now click back on the RGB and you'll see that uh, the the channel is actually the uh, image is actually repaired now we haven't got those uh, the, the fogging but we have got uh, a bit of a color uh, issue going on 
So to repair that, we need to do a little bit more handwork. Now, unfortunately, with this image, we did lose quite a lot of the colour in uh, in the baby's face and in uh, the hand here, and also in the uh, less so, but in in the background and the chair. So we need to try and add that colour back in. This is going to be the bit that sort of makes or breaks the image. And I said it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be better than having that red flare across the image. So what we need to do now is to add a new empty layer and uh, we're going to basically paint in some colour. To do that we're going to get the brush tool here and make sure that it's uh, it, it's obviously very soft for starters. We're going to highlight the top layer. I'm going to leave that in a normal mode for now but we will change that in a second. If you hold down the Alt or Option key you can sample some colour from the image uh, where you can in Photoshop uh, Creative Cloud. Um, if you're using other other versions, that might not uh, happen. But you need to uh, you need to sample some colour from the original image. And we're going to use this colour to to use this to paint in the lost colour information in the image. So we're going to zoom in uh, a little bit, and we're going to just gently, best we can. I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet and pen. We're just gently going to paint over the image the best we can. And don't worry if it's all one colour at the moment. We can go over and fine tune this, but we just want to get some base colour down, like so. And it's best to leave it in normal mode to start with because you can see actually where you're painting. Now, bear in mind I'm paint doing this quite quickly just for the sake of the tutorial. Um, but what we can do once we've got the uh, the right sort of level of paint in the right areas, we can change the mode to colour, and that just uh, gives us the colour we need without any side effects and um, we can now go over again holding down the alt key and, and just sample different areas of the arm and try and just for the best of our abilities just try and blend some of this color in so you want some variation we could also add some highlights if needed to the picture the same with the uh, with the shirt here we can move, zoom in and try and paint in some of the color here over the image just to bring some of that colour back in and then when you've done a little bit it's always a good idea maybe to add a new layer and start on another area and we can go carry on like this and um, we can sample some of the colour this is going to be a little bit more tricky with the uh, with the pillow here and you can see by leaving it in normal mode you can just really get to see where you're laying down the colour Make brush it bigger, and you can also obviously vary the opacity if you're using a pressure sensitive pen, like so. So I'm just doing this very quickly just to give you an idea of how we can start to repair this area. Change it to colour again so we can see a little bit what's going on. As I said, this is going to be a little bit more difficult this area because there's obviously um, quite a bit more patterns to it so we just keep sampling a little bit more and just try and blend it the best we can as I said it's not an easy image this one to uh, try and do but uh, it's gonna be better than uh, than what we started with and obviously this is gonna take a little bit more time than we have here to use again move that to color again you can even if you need to go to image and uh, sorry to filter blur and add a little bit of Gaussian blur if, if needed to the picture if you've got any like brush strokes that are showing through and then we can just merge that down a little bit but that's uh, that's getting there as I said it's never going to be perfect but um, we can start to sort of build the image back up so I'll continue to add a little bit more colour uh, in places like the background here very slightly I've actually sort of tried to brighten this wall a little bit as well and I've done that with an adjustment layer uh, I've simply done a curves adjustment layer and again added that gradient across the image so it's affecting more the uh, the damaged left hand side as we look at the screen uh, and less so the right hand side uh, but we could go that one step further again and add some selective highlights if you wanted to uh, so the colouring I've done very very quickly so it's rather crude but you can see we do before and after the difference there's before 
which is not very nice at all. And there's after, which, you know, is not too bad considering we've got no colour information in there to, to play with. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope uh, that sort of gives you uh, at least one way uh, to correct some uh, damage in your images. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Cheers.